So not too long ago, I made a video comparing round-based zombies to Spec Ops. How Infinity Ward's third mode compares to Treyarch's third mode. And I specifically compared Spec Ops to round-based zombies because in Modern Warfare 2, we also have DMZ, which in my opinion is more comparable to the Outbreak mode from Treyarch. And I said in that first one, I'll make two separate videos comparing the two. So if you haven't seen part one already, I will link it down in the description. But that means in this video, I wanna look at how DMZ compares to Outbreak. But quickly, just before we continue, this video is sponsored by Macarena. If you've never heard of Macarena, it's an awesome PvP shooter for mobile and PC where giant mechs blow up each other in huge arenas. And who doesn't love giant mechs blowing each other up? This is a really fun game. If you want to install Macarena on mobile and PC for yourself, you can do so using my personal link in the description or the QR code you can see on screen now, and you can get yourself a free starter pack worth $30 to help kickstart your game. And if you're quick, you can add me to your friends. You can see my profile right here, and we can play some matches together on mobile and PC. So there we go. Go ahead and download it, and thank you to Macarena for sponsoring today's video. So like I was saying, what we've seen so far for the third modes in Modern Warfare 2 are nowhere near as good as what Treyarch produced. And as I also said before, considering the different third modes we've seen from Infinity Ward in the past, such as Extinction or Infinite Warfare Zombies, Spec Ops and what we have now DMZ, but what I said before was, I feel like Spec Ops is a thing of the past, a mode that was fine and was good for 2009 when the original Modern Warfare 2 released, or even Modern Warfare 3, or even Modern Warfare 2019. But considering we now have DMZ, I came to the conclusion that Spec Ops is kind of irrelevant. But that doesn't mean that DMZ is. DMZ is a lot different to Spec Ops, so it'd be unfair to bundle the two together in the same way that it's unfair to bundle round-based and outbreak zombies together. They're quite different. But I do think outbreak is pretty similar to DMZ, or at least the most comparable. Maybe I'm biased considering I love the zombies mode, but that hasn't always been the case. If you've been watching these videos for long enough, you will know I wasn't the biggest fan of Outbreak. I didn't really like it during Cold War's life cycle, but now that Cold War is over and Outbreak is complete, it's got all of the content it's ever going to get. They're not going to add more to it. It's not going to improve now. Where Outbreak started and where it is now is drastically different and going back and playing it especially not having played it for quite a while gave me a little bit of a different perspective of it i still don't think it's brilliant and i guess in that way it is unfair to compare it to dmz since dmz is still early on in its life cycle this game is going to get another two years of content so it might end up being drastically different by the time we get to the end just like outbreak was but we can only compare how the both are now and well for me dmz is nowhere near as good as outbreak just speaking on DMZ itself, I have said this before, but I personally don't really get this mode. It is a hell of a lot more popular than Spec Ops. People do upload videos on it. People are talking about it. It's a relevant game mode where I feel like Spec Ops isn't. But just for me personally, I don't really understand it. And what I mean by that is, of course, I understand the premise, what the objective of this mode is, but I don't really get why? Maybe that's just me, I don't really like game modes where you're playing against AI, which might sound contradictory since I like zombies, and zombies are AI, but an example I can use is multiplayer. Whenever we get a multiplayer mode and video game developers end up adding both AI and real players in there, bundled together, that's never really been my thing. When I'm playing a multiplayer mode, I want to play against other players because that for me gives me a sense of accomplishment, killing actual players, not the computer. I've just never really got into any game mode really where you're playing against AI because like I said, I don't really get a sense of accomplishment from it. I like to go up against real players and see who's the best. To me, that's competitive and well, in DMZ, that's exactly what you're doing. You team up with real life players, but you're killing AI. So that's really my first problem because whereas you are doing that in zombies, well, you wouldn't expect anything else because it's a zombie. So that's my first issue with DMZ, but that's really just a personal thing. But the game mode as a whole, I just haven't really been able to get into. I can play one or two games and then that's it. I guess the whole idea of it is to allow you to rank up your XP, your weapons. It's a different way of ranking up instead of playing the multiplayer or warzone. There are missions you complete and then at the end you either extract or you fail. And that's also where it differs to Outbreak, whereas Outbreak is round based so you can go on for as long as you want to trying to reach the highest round and you can also exfil if you want to so you can end the game dmz you can't do that it's around about a 20 minute game and then you either escape or you don't for me trying to get to the highest round again gives me a sense of accomplishment whereas just going into the same game playing for 20 minutes and then escaping or you don't again there isn't really anything about dmz that gives me 
fulfillment. Personally, I don't really find it funny. It's difficult to get into details because it's not a particularly detailed mode at this point. It is as simple as going in, completing missions, and then escaping or not. But like I said at the beginning, it's also pretty early on in its life cycle. I haven't played Tarkov. I know that's what it's compared to a lot. So whether or not Tarkov is better or worse or there are ways that this game mode could improve, I don't know. Yeah, it's difficult to talk about this one because it is a simple game mode that is there for you to rank up. It isn't a mode for you to get high rounds or the most kills. There aren't really that many easter eggs. There is a storyline, but since it's pretty much one whole long 20 minute mission, once you've completed it, that's it. Being a zombies player, and maybe this is why I don't quite understand it, it feels like more of an open world campaign mission or a giant open world spec ops mission. Whereas Outbreak right now does have its similarities. They're both open world to a certain extent, although Outbreak has multiple maps, whereas DMZ is one giant map. Outbreak has multiple smaller maps. Both of these modes are good for ranking up, but I don't feel like that's what Outbreak's core is. I feel it's more similar to round based in the sense of, yes, you get in there, you do missions, but it's also about how far can you go? But interestingly, I didn't like Outbreak when it came out or even when Cold War was relevant during its life cycle. It wasn't really what I wanted from zombies. I thought it was way too slow since the maps are so big, the zombies are spread out. Run based zombies is quite fast paced, whereas Outbreak isn't. There's a big difference if you're used to that. And still now, to be honest, going back, it's very slow in those earlier rounds especially. That's one thing I'd still change, either add more zombies into the maps or make the maps smaller. They're the only two ways I can see you fixing that. And the other big change I would make to Outbreak to make it better is I would add enemy players. So you've got your team of four going against another team of four going against the zombies. Honestly, Outbreak for me playing solo is still pretty boring. If you're playing with friends, it's more fun. But if you made it so you could play against other players as well. So you've got two groups trying to survive against the undead, seeing who can get the most points, who can get to the highest wave. When Troyot released their next game in 2024, those are the two major changes I'd like to see because we do know Outbreak is coming back and going back and playing it now, I think I'd like to see it return. Another major change I would make is actual maps made specifically for this mode because what we see in Outbreak are multiplayer maps. I'd like to see maps made specifically for zombies. But getting back to the main point, yeah, Outbreak right now is, for me, so much better than DMZ, but it is in a way unfair to compare the two because DMZ is so early on. There are still two more years of content to be added to this game, but I'm going to say, as I said with Spec Ops, I just don't think either Spec Ops or DMZ are as good as Treyarch's Zombies mode. I don't even really think DMZ or Spec Ops are as good as Infinity Ward's Infinite Warfare Zombies mode. Are they better than Extinction? I think that's more of an argument. You could even say they're more similar than what Zombies is. But yeah, I don't think DMZ is as good as Outbreak. The player base is probably a lot more, but just for me personally, this is all my opinion. I'm not a fan of it and I just don't really understand it. But yeah, maybe you guys could convince me or let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. So there we go. Let me know your thoughts as always. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video today. If you have, drop a like rating. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest videos on the channel. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.